everybody, welcome to The Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be the first part of a brand new four-part mini-series. This four-part mini-series is going to take place in the next four Mondays, and what it is going to be is basically holiday hauls. So I'm going to share with you guys four different holiday hauls for things that we have either purchased for our home, for our daughter, or for the other kids in our lives. And we are buying for kids that are boys and girls from ages 2 to ages 10. So that kind of gives you an idea of what you're going to be seeing. And I'm just going to show you everything. And hopefully you will find something for the kiddos in your life during this holiday haul mini series. The first holiday haul I'm going to be sharing with you all is our Amazon holiday haul. And I am sure many of you are familiar with the fact that recently Amazon had a buy to get the third free sale. And during that sale, I got quite a few games and books and other fun things that I think the kiddos in our life are going to love. Before I start sharing with you guys all of the gifts that I bought, I want to share with you some of the books that I bought for us to use in our homeschool. I bought three different Thanksgiving books that we absolutely love. We read every year and I just wanted us to own. And they are How to Catch a Turkey, Cranberry Thanksgiving, and Turkey Trouble. The next set of books I also purchased for our homeschool, and the majority of these are Christmas or holiday based, and we will either be just reading them through December, or they will be part of our holiday fun around the world. And that is a Charles Dickens Christmas Carol. The Return of Light, 12 stories about winter solstice. The Crayons Christmas. I think this is super cute because it comes with little envelopes and letters for kids to open. How to Catch an Elf. God Gave Us Christmas. Everybody's Tree. Lots of Lights. Let's Celebrate the Five Days of Diwali. Christmas Lights, Christmas Lights. The Legends of Christmas Treasury. So inside this book is The Legend of St. Nicholas, The Legend of the Candy Cane, and The Legend of the Christmas Cookie. So it's all in this one treasury. Dasher. Santa's Story. The Winter Solstice. Together for Kwanzaa, National Geographic Celebrate Hanukkah, National Geographic Celebrate Kwanzaa, National Geographic Celebrate Christmas, Two Mini Tamales, The Shortest Day, What is Winter Solstice, Sunbread, and then Walk This World at Christmas Time. So the books that I purchased for the kiddos in our life or for our kiddo herself are the Encyclopedia of Insects, the Animal Exploration Lab for Kids, Dino Dana Field Guide Volume 1 and Volume 2 is also on the way. Um, it was a pre-release, so it will be here soon. The Big History Timeline Sticker Book. I just bought Emily one of these recently, and she loved it so much that she wanted to gift it to a friend, so I bought a second one. And then the DK, the Book of Magical Beast and, I'm sorry, Mythical Beast and Magical Creatures. 
And then we also bought Emily two book series, one of which is The Land of Stories. We got her the first six books on paperback. And the other is the Percy Jackson series. So we got her the box set of that. And then for the games, we got Llama the Card Game. Hey, That's My Fish. One Night Ultimate Werewolf. The Disney edition of Meme the Game. Forbidden Desert, the Thrust for Survival. And King of Tokyo. Then I also picked up a few like hands-on kits type stuff. One of which is this tube of plus plus blocks. The other is the Safari LTD tube for In the Sky. Make Glitter Clay Charms. The Osmo Magical Workshop, The Math Wizard. This is the Addition and Subtraction Adventure. The National Geographic Crystal Lab. The National Geographic Volcano Build Your Own Volcano Kit. And then I got two of the Lego Creator 3-in-1s, the Mighty Dinosaur and the Deep Sea Creatures. And then I also grabbed this like mortal pestle. It's granite for Emily's Mud Kitchen. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought, but it's really, really sturdy. So I think she's going to love it for her um, little creations that she makes in her Mud Kitchen. And then the last holiday thing that I bought wasn't really a gift for anybody other than myself. So this Christmas for my gift, Kevin said that I could decorate the entire house and I could decorate it overboard and I could decorate it early. So I purchased new bed sets for our bedroom and Emily's. I purchased new um, throw pillows and blankets for the couches and I also purchased um, a new bathroom set for Emily's bathroom too like a new um, shower curtain and rugs and stuff in there as well just to add to what we already had and to kind of add even more Christmas joy to the holiday season. And because this is a holiday haul series, I would love it if for this part of the holiday haul, you would leave in the comments down below one thing off of your child's wish list for the upcoming holiday season.